think we've gone through about four strategies of things to do. But I was intrigued by something you said, which was to to know how to avoid common mistakes. What do you see as common mistakes that people make in career yeah. transitions? So, I mean, the first is, and we talked about it, it be realistic. Yeah. I mean, A, this is not easy. B, it can take time. Mm -hmm. You may fail. You may go down a path that doesn't work, so you have to regroup. Mm -hmm. But you've got you've to know that you're going to make it. It's going to be okay, right. but you've got to be realistic about it. And, you know, very closely connected is be patient. Right because it can take That's time. It's a hard one sometimes. You know, lightning could strike, and it does, right. but more likely you're going to have to navigate this and figure it out and give yourself enough time and enough space to, um, to do it. And right. that's why, you know, project work is actually an interesting way to keep yourself busy as you go through this because oftentimes that can turn into something that you don't expect. Right, right. Well, and also it, it seems like um, there's a phrase that you've used several times that I've, I've always liked, which is embrace the serendipity, is right. that opportunities may come up. You may not be ready for them or even right. want them, or you may not think you want them, but you right. really should embrace right. them. And, you know, it's, there, there's sort of three things that are connected. You know, A, you've got to be realistic, you've got to be patient, but you've also got to roll up your sleeves. Yeah. You may have to take a step back. You may have to do things that feel uncomfortable. Right. But, again, you're trying to forge your way into something new. Right. And so, like anything new, you know, it's going to feel a little uncomfortable. You're going to have to do some things. Also, we always talk about the importance of teamwork, which is, of course, important. Mm -hmm. When you're pivoting, you have to think of yourself as a new, a new worker, a new employee, and you want to figure out how you can make an individual impact. You want to show that you can make a contribution, and you want to make it in a way that lets people understand this is going to work. <laughs> and be the team player, but also be very clear on what you're bringing right. to personal value. And, and then the serendipity is just... This is something you've always said that it, I like. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it's actually, as I said, the, the career that is pivoting is going to be unique mm -hmm. to everybody. And so one of the reasons that you want to be fluid and opportunistic is, you know, I look at my own career. I could never have written down law to investment banking to government to you know media to venture capital mm -hmm. you know you would never have seen that it, right. it's a combination of following what you're interested in but being nimble and when the right. opportunity comes up so media is a really good example and this is kind of another thing for career pivots that i think people should just keep in mind i got an opportunity to go into media precisely because i knew nothing about it <laughs> and it was a situation where there had been an attempt to create a a new market and the people who knew a lot about that market were very rigid in their thinking and mm -hmm. they said I know how to do this and of course it's a new market so right. sometimes knowledge can be a, an obstacle not right. Um, right. not a plus so they so they glad they were glad you were clueless they were glad <laughs> I didn't know anything and so again you know you that's being nimble like mm -hmm. I didn't expect that I could walk into an opportunity in media because I knew nothing about media I right. had no media in my background I got lucky right found something that was so I think it, it's just Keeping your eyes open, being uh, receptive mm -hmm. to things that you hadn't thought of, but that might work, mm -hmm. and trying them. Um, and there, the other thing you said, which I don't want to, uh, you know, skip over, is the get your hands dirty. Like yes. you may, if you're making a career transition or pivot, you may have to do something that you, you may think was below you or that you, right, your, exactly. your skills were beyond. Exactly. But you, you do it. You do it because you know where you're going. And right. you know the thing that's interesting about this whole area is we're talking a lot about what an individual needs to do mm -hmm. um, to be successful in a career pivot. Employers now have to think more broadly right. about people's career and how to evaluate that because it's not going to look like it's always looked. Right. And so the ability to understand that people are pursuing different, um, different things at different times and to be able to assess and evaluate the quality of that individual, even though it's a lot harder yeah. than it used to be when you said, okay, they advanced up in 2.6 months, you know, right. which way. Right. And so I think it's a new skill for, for employers, employers yeah. too, to be aware that this is happening at the rate that it's happening and to adjust their own expectations and skills, mm -hmm. honestly, um, in order to recognize the great talent that's out there that is pursuing a different path. It really does feel like a new normal. I think I think we're going to see more and more people who both again by choice or by um, by happenstance are mm -hmm. finding themselves looking to make a career pivot, and I think they should feel excited about that mm -hmm. opportunity and uh, excited about where it might take them.